Breaking news. Senate Committee on Army calls for decisive action following attacks on soldiers in Abia State. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got your ear this morning. As our headline for this morning says that, Breaking news. Senate Committee on Army calls for decisive action following attack on soldiers in Abia State. It says that, that the Senate Committee on the Army have issued a strong statement commending the recent attack on soldiers in Abia State and calls for decisive action to combat the perpetrators. In response to the attack carried out by the fighters of the indigenous people of Brafia IPOB, which resulted in the loss of life, including five soldiers and six civilians, the committee emphasized the need for a comprehensive investigation to ensure justice is served. Chairman of the committee, Senator Abdul Abdulaziz Yerudua, expressed solidarity with the armed, force, armed forces and retaliated the committee's support for efforts to protect citizens and maintain peace in the region. The committee calls for uh, overwhelming military pressure to be exported to the group responsible for their complete defeat. The statement underscores the importance of unity, resilience and collective resolve in standing against the violence and insurgency that threatens the nation's security and stability. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline which says that breaking news Senate Committee on Army calls for the safe action following the attack on soldiers in Abia State. Because you had it for me uh, very much, yes, you had it for me this morning. This is talking about the Senate Committee on the Army calling for a decisive action following the recent attack on soldiers in Abia State. The recent attack on soldiers in Abia State. Because now the, the Senate Committee on the Army, they have issued a strong statement. They issued a strong statement condemning the recent act on soldiers in Abia State. They condemned the recent act attack on soldiers in the Abia State because the soldiers, recently soldiers in the Abia, in Abia State were attacked by Max gunmen who were enforcing the state at home order from the leaders of the IPOB. And they are called, they are calling for the civil action to combat the per perpetrators. To combat those people who attack the army in Abia State, because in response to this attack carried out by fighters of the IPOB, which resulted in the loss of life, including five soldiers and six civilians, the committee emphasized the need for a comprehensive investigation and also to ensure justice is served. Because they, what what they said concerning this is that concerning the recent attack that gunmen killed five soldiers in Abia State, the committee. That, that, that emphasizing the need for comprehensive investigation, huge investigation concerning that, and to ensure justice is served. To ensure that justice is served, those lives do not just go in vain. Because the chairman of the committee, Senator Abdulaziz Yerudra, he expressed solidarity with the armed forces and rendered the committee support for efforts to protect citizens and maintain peace in the region. Right now, the soldiers they are they, in great mourning, and, and they are in great mourning and sadness because they just lost five personalities when when they were doing their job in Abia State. Because the the indigenous the IPOB leaders they warned that they can even take the safe action when the sit at home order is it, when the sit at home order is dead or threatened is threatened because they said they would take the safe action and maybe killing these five soldiers. Was the decisive action that they were threatening the Nigerian army or the Nigerian police or even the federal government about? Because it is it, it is not right. It is not right killing people just for what? Just for for what? Let's see some comments on that. Is because this person Ushi Agu said the same people that the, that declared the decisive action, the same people that arranged the killing of the soldiers, they are not happy for Alex Utiti and Abians. Tell me in the history. Tell me in the history of IPOB that they ever attack common police checkpoints. How many more an army checkpoints when there is no reason for that? Nigerians should not allow these criminal politicians who can do anything against any opposition or, however, refuse to join their evil court 
their target is to distract and destabilize Abia state. That is a very strong word coming from Ushi Ago. Say that the same uh, army that declared civil action, the same people that arranged the same people that arranged the killing of soldiers, they are not happy for Alex Utiti and Abians. They tell me in the history of IPOB, have they ever attacked common police checkpoints? How many more an army checkpoints when when there is no reason for that? Nice, nice word coming from Mr. Ushi. And also this um, Sonny Ekpa said, We don't know who to trust. May God help us from the hands of the wicked politicians, security agencies, unknown gunmen, Boko Haram bandits, kidnappers, armed robber terrorists, etc. Thank that, uh, amen and thank you for that, Mr. Sonny Ekpe. And Roland Emanuel said, when Delta State's own happened some months ago, some evil people, they some evil people, they go against Delta people. I be see you in the same side, in, in the same shoe. Now, okay. He said that the same thing happened in Delta State some months ago, and now it has happened in the evil people's side. Now, <laughs> he, he, this man is just mocking mock, mock, mock the, the evil people. Well, more comments are still coming in concerning this. And let me see your own in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap that subscribe button. And that's, yeah, the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video like this or any latest updates concerning this, because there will be more decisive action that we'll be talking about more concerning this topic. We would like to see the army's next move concerning the people who died.